Hey, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Danny Moon here, y'all. Call me what you want, as long as it's respectful. <clears throat> it is 5 o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> I came home from work and took a large nap, like a big baby. Now, I was really tired. <clears throat> and then I just did... Thank you, spirit. Um... Then I just um, did the cancer video that kind of was long and deep. So I want to see what y'all are about and what y'all are going through. I did just hear the word relationship. Uh, they're showing me um, some of you are going through some financial issues. Because when they show me the financial issues, they show me like this white rope with notches. That means like finances are dwindling right now. Not for everyone. All the cards and everything that I channel is not going to relate or resonate with every Leo. So please understand that, okay? I, I wanted to, but because I try to give out different messages like I ask Spirit to give me all type of messages for all Leos and all of the collective. So you would have to listen to the end to see if anything in there in this video is for you. If it isn't, that's okay. Next month it will be for you. Or whenever I get back to y'all, it will be for you. Just subscribe and press like, please, please, please. That would really, I would really appreciate it. That would really help my algorithms and it will help me on YouTube. Um, and go to my TikTok, Danny, D-A-N-N-I, three, moon. And also be my friend on in. If you follow me, I always follow you back. All right, spirit. Can you give me some energy about the Leos? Can you let me know anything, anything about the Leos? Some of you might be having car troubles. Oh, okay. Hostilities. See? Hostilities. Um... If you are going through something right now, financial, with your family or car, or a relationship. Being hostile about it really is not going to get you anywhere, Leo. It's not going to get you anywhere. Um, you need to ground yourself. I, I'm telling all my followers, my subscribers, I'm telling all my friends, my family about this grounding mat that my friend bought me. Grounding mat. She got it right off of Amazon for me. And I don't feel a thing. <laughs> but I know it is working. I do feel when I am, when I go throughout my day after I meditate and have my feet on it, I do feel more centered and more grounded to the earth. Um, so Leos, I think this is a time for you to get this and I am telling all the zodiacs to get it um, because this is a transformational season time space for everyone not just you guys okay so um there was a moon on the 20th because it is now the 22nd and the moon will will be here till the 23rd but after the 23rd you still have three days to pick up this energy and to do some candle magic to do some hardcore praying to definitely 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 do some journaling and i want you to do two types of journaling i want you to do intention journaling as if you have it Thank you, God, for this brand new car I got. Thank you, God, for this brand new job I got. Thank you so much for fixing my relationship. Even if you don't have that, write it as if you do. Then I want you to do just normal day-to-day -day thanking God, um, being grateful for what you have. These journaling prompts will definitely help you move forward in your life, okay? Okay. So hostility is not the way to go, but I do understand I am getting the energy of 
five steps forward, ten steps back, and I am getting the energy of you trying. <clears throat> and that's all spirit and God in the universe wants you to do. Because by you trying, you are sending the universe um, vibrations of determination. And things will turn out in your way. But you have to be the temperance right now. And you have to be patient. January is a big month for a lot of the Zodiacs. Not all of them, but for a lot of them where... You will definitely see big, big changes come January. Even now they're even telling me December for you guys. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Can I get something else for the Leos, please? Um, I could tell you now, fifth chakra, Archangel Uriel, and his throat chakra is lit up. Some people count the chakras as going one, two, you know, three, they count them down and some people count them up so the fifth chakra in this deck is your throat chakra so speak your truth you don't have to be disrespectful you don't have to be loud and proud but you just need to get your point across okay it's time for you leos to stop being so loyal because you are um, and there's nothing wrong with being loyal, guys. But just know who you're being loyal to. And understand that that loyalness comes in both ways. Okay? You this way, this way, that way. If it's only one way, then why are you doing it? Okay? Third chakra, Archangel Shemuel which is your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is where you hold all your, all your things, all your thoughts, all your emotions. And yes, your heart chakra holds your emotions, but your sacral chakra holds the base, the base, the base of your emotions there. Real quick, let me go to that page. And give you the snippet. Um, emotions of desire. Life force energy. Told you. The powerful archangel Shamiel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus. Did I say um, solar plexus? It's your solar plex plexus. Your third. Your solar location of your third chakra, and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When the card appears upright, it, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. Transformation, I told you, either December or January. Enthusias enthusiasm about a desire about a desire that you want or you just your energy will be uplifted um this is a great time to move towards the completion of your desires your life force is vibrating with power and resonance and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a forced purposeful manner this angel of power is with you now so go for it this whole time leos it's all about preparation it's about preparation so please this hostility that you in we all go through it we fall off the bandwagon where we get mad at god or we get your god or whoever you get mad at yourself um and then we get right back on the bandwagon and we push forward spirit is trying to tell you this is the time to prepare there's no time to fall off the bandwagon stay positive keep your vibrations high so that the universe can match your vibrations if they if the universe matches your vibrations and your vibrations are high then everything will start to come to you once you get into a low mindset then you start to block it the bottom of the deck just like i said is financial constraints financial constraints but you will be out of this you will make a way out of this you and your spirit guides the universe and god your god 
will make a way out of this come December, January. You just have to hold on. Keep striving. Apply for those jobs. Um, apply for those jobs. Don't give too much energy into giving other people um, and being loyal and giving other people and doing the same thing and feeling stagnant and staying in the same place. Don't give other people and places and things that energy. Start spreading out your energy. Don't spread yourself too thin, but now start turning your energy towards you, okay? Um, there could be someone around you that is envious of you, or you could be envious of someone else. You remember, this energy is fluid, so this energy is not just for you. It could be your best friend, your mama, your brother, who knows? Just take the messages and place them where they need to be. If some of them belong with you, take the advice and take action. If some of them belongs with another Leo that you might know, then pass the video and the message on. Please press subscribe, like, and share to all platforms. TikTok, I am Danny 3 Moon, D-A-N-N-I 3 Moon. Um, go be my follower and I will follow you back, even on YouTube. If you hit me up here, I will always support whoever supports me. Um, I'm trying to give you all the disclaimers. And that's it. Let's hit the cards, y'all. Let's hit the cards. Mm. All right, Spirit. Can you please come in and give the Leos some accurate messages? I just split the deck and I got the star, which is your spirit guides, the universe, all your de uh, deceased um, loved ones, your angels, they are following you. They're watching over you. They, they're holding you up. You're, you're down, but you're not down for the count. So spirit got you. Things are going to turn around for you. They're happening now for you. Look around you and see the blessings, Leo. They're there. And this is a wish, a wish card. Spirit is saying right now, Make a small practical wish and it will come to fruition. It will come to light for you. Um, at this bottom of the deck, it's Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. This is somebody coming in, offering, giving you their number or wanting to take you out or somebody who wants to hear your ideas about this side project that you want to do or these ideas that you got, something with work, something that, something... It's either like something with work or your passion, something that you want to do, but somebody wants to listen to you. Um, and it's a cup card, so they either got a crush on you or they want to take you out or something in that manner. Thank you, Spirit. I know you don't hear me shuffling because I'm a terrible shuffler, but I am. Um, the was that the justice card? It's so crazy. The justice card just flipped over. So if you are having any, I'm splitting the deck in three. If you are having any um finance, not financial, any court cases, um, uh, what do you call it? Child support, criminal activity, whether it's your fault or not. Um, it, I saw the justice card and it was upright. That means if it comes back out for you, um, everything will go well. But even if it doesn't come out for you again, everything will go, be fair. Everything will work out in your favor. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is showing me exactly what I said. Things are turning around for you. The job thing to you in your mind is not that great. It's really moving slow. You're, you're probably working check to check. You want more money. But Spirit is saying... The Knight of Pentacles is about really um, objectifying what you want, really thinking about that finish line, that goal at the end. Um, say the end is a year from now, like next year, starting January till the following January, I want to make this amount of money. So this is what I'm going to do. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving do horse in the deck, but I love it because when they get to their finish line, they can retire. While everybody is working, they can retire, okay? Um, get a scratch off, y'all. Um, get a scratch off. I'm not promoting gambling. No promoting gambling. I'm just saying, get a scratch off. 
I see it, Spirit. Thank you. I told you. Right now, Leos, I know they're giving me the energy that y'all are in a negative state of mind and you're feeling down, but they're telling me you're going to be okay. Court case, job, money, you are going to be okay. And when you're going to be more than okay, you're going to be blessed. But you have, they're telling me now, you have to start looking at your blessings now that you have. If you are struggling to pay rent, struggling to pay your light bill, I know all about that. Remember the word is struggling. That means your lights are still on. That means your rent is still paid. That means even if your rent is not paid, but you're still coming home, you're, you're figuring out a way, all of that is a blessing. If you have a, a, a bullshit job, you have a job. Um, if you woke up, you woke up. You have to look at the small blessings. You have to journal. You have to look at the, the people think that this is just talk. Like you hear that all the time. Be thankful for waking up, blah, blah, blah. I know, I know at a time, this time you don't want to hear that. I promise you, Leos, I, everyone, whoever watches this, cross watches, whatever. Things started really coming and to, into my life and changing for me when I started writing. And look at my book. I got this book a few months ago. And I write every day in it. Every day. I write, Dear God. Dear, dear God and spiritual team. Every day. Every day I write in this book. Every morning I write in that book. That's all. Two of Pentacles. You're juggling. You're multitasking. You're trying to make a decision. Just make the decision. That's all you got to do. If you stay in that contemplation state of should I, should I, should I, should I, you won't move. That's a box. That's a frame. You won't move. What you should do is ask your spirit guides. Spirit guides, can you please get me through this heavy energy? Can you please point me in the direction of where I should go? Can you please help me use my intuition so that I can know what decision to um, move in? Okay, I'm telling you, if you start talking in the shower to yourself out loud, and I just said in the shower because that's something I do. When I get in the shower, I, I invoke the power of water. <clears throat> All of this may sound silly to you, but this is what I do because I'm a witch and I'm magical and I believe in energy and I believe in the gods. So, you know. It works and it always works for me, especially during moon phases. Um, October 20th, two days ago, was a moon. October 6th was a new moon. All these moons, you should be doing something. You should be invoking the elements, earth, water, air. You should be evo evoking whatever that is going to serve you. And it only should be on a higher good, a higher purpose out of love and light. But when you start really believing in these energies and believing in yourself, things will start to come. But if you keep saying, woe is me, it's, it won't come. And then if you keep saying that and it won't come, then you're going to start thinking that this is not real. You're not going to believe that energy is real. You're not going to believe that magic is real and nothing's going to serve you. So it won't kill you to try. Look at the things I'm telling you to, you to do. I'm asking you to write in a journal. Who can't do that? I'm asking you to invoke the power of water when you get in the shower so it can wash away your depression and your negativity. I'm asking you to... Um, Remain positive when it comes to the Knight of Pentacles because you are going to hit your goal. I'm asking you to make decisions and just trust that God has got you. These are things that everyone can do. I didn't ask you to even spend a dime. <clears throat> Leo, can I get Leo energy spirit, please? Leo energy. Cards will fall um, because I'm not facing my desk, y'all. The hanged man, just like I said, you're in a stuck energy. You, you, spirit is saying, take a different perspective on things. You know, when you're hung upside down, literally, if you are hung upside down, try laying you in your bed upside down. It's comfortable, but it's so comfortable that you are stuck 
right where you are. You're not able to turn your body. You're not able to like really turn your head. You're not able to get a different perspective when you're in the hang, hanged man energy. <clears throat> If you see me moving around a lot, y'all, I'm in a lot of pain. I um, need a hip replacement. Five of Swords, this is no good, y'all. Five of Swords is about eliminating the people around you that is trying to help you. You know, um, Five of Swords is about winning at all costs. Like, um, you know you right, you know you right, you know you right. And it's funny because my Virgos normally get this card. So you might be dating a Virgo and going back and forth, but... Just check yourself. Five of Swords, no good. See, he's standing alone. You're in your own thoughts. You are in a, this place of not moving. You see, he's stagnant. You know what I mean? He's stagnant and he's looking around at the people that are his friends and there's no one around. He's in his head. All these swords means the mind. And spirit is saying, come out of the mind and get into the soul. Come out of the mind and get into do, um, taking action. <clears throat> and you don't have to spend a dime to take action, Leos. You really don't. <clears throat> Eight, of Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Spirit and God in the universe see that you're working hard. But even though you're working hard, you're still not happy. It's still not enough. I, and I get that. You know, I work hard and I don't make enough. But as you're working, come up with some ideas of what you can do to further your pinnacle. It could be a side gig. It could be DoorDash. <clears throat> it could be Uber Eats. It could be Lyft. It could be babysitting. It could be anything. I just threw that out there. I'm not a sponsor for anything or anybody. <laughs> I just threw that out there because there's so many of my friends who do... Um, Lyft or DoorDash and they make a hundred dollars a day. Think if you did DoorDash seven days a week. That's I know that's we have kids and responsibilities. You can't do that, but I'm just giving you a suggestion, Leos. It doesn't have to be DoorDash. It could be anything. You could start a YouTube channel and start telling people about what you're going through. A YouTube channel. You hear me, right? I ain't say nothing about tarot. I didn't say nothing about nothing. You can you can create a YouTube channel with like comedy skits or being funny or just being authentic. You know how many people are out there who are who is going through the same thing that you're going through and and these people don't know how you're making it. They don't know how you're surviving. And you can be on YouTube helping someone else using the gifts that God gave you. <clears throat> and they're, they're telling me relationship again. They're telling me relationship again. So this five of swords could be something about a relationship where you're pushing the person away or maybe y'all are going through something. This eight of pentacles is you avoiding your relationship, avoiding going home, avoiding arguments. So you're working, working, working. Um, this two of pentacles could be making a decision between a, a person and another person or whether you want to stay or go um, or whether you want to argue today or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I prefer you not to, but I do get it. But staying in a, a stagnant place just because... Um, you don't know what to do. Uh, you're, you're in this hangman position of, I do love the person, but we got kids or finances or I can't do it alone or what will I do without them? Like that, no, that won't that won't help. Spirit, can you um, give me something else um, for the Leos, please? Some of you could be with a Virgo because I just heard Virgo again in my head. Three of Swords, this could be, thank you, Spirit, uh, this could be about a breakup or um, a relationship going sour. <sighs> I I'm trying to hear what they're trying to tell me. They're giving me the energy of falling apart, almost like a separation or y'all are still there, but it's gone, you know. I can't give you advice on what you should do with your relationship. No, I'm not that that's a lie. I can spirit and I can give you advice, but we can't tell you what to do, Leos. 
if you are in a stagnant relationship, you have to step aside for a moment and you have to step aside respectfully. You have to tell your spouse, listen, I really need to do some soul searching and I need to know what is going on with us. So yes, we can communicate, but I need to go speak to a therapist or I need a weekend away by myself to really deal with these issues. You can speak that and use your throat chakra or you can go into hermit mode and do these do this work yourself. I'm not sure if this relationship can be saved. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not getting that energy of saving it. Um, but I know it doesn't have to be as bad as it's feeling right now to me. Spirit, can I get um, something else, please? Can I get something else? Can we um, expand with the Leos, please? Four Pentacles. Four Pentacles is holding on. Um, yes, Pentacles is, yes, about money. First and foremost, it's about saving your money, holding on to your money. And you know what advice Spirit in me gives you? You holding on to your money. Can you die with your all this money? Can you die with the little bit of money you got? No, you know what I'm saying? So do what you got to do. Save it. That's fine. Pay bills. Pay your important bills. Um, prioritize. Pay what has to be paid first. Always take 10% out of your check to give to yourself. And I know you're saying, I don't, I don't have 10%. Or some of you are saying, what is 10%? Because I didn't know what 10% was. You know what I'm saying? But let's break it down even more easier. Out of every check, you should take $20 and put it in your drawer. Every check, $5, $10, you should do $20, okay? So that's that's first and foremost. Pentacles is also about your home life, who you coming home to, your material wealth, like inside your home, how you take care of your home, the love that's within your home. So spirit is trying to tell me you're holding on to your money or, or to this relationship that is really not serving you. Five of cups, woe is me. Leos, you're going through it right now, and you're not the only Zodiac that's going through it. We're all going through it. Something is shifting. This world is shifting. You know what we're all going through with everything in this world. Um, and that was like the start of it. That could have been the, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That could have been the start of it, these medical issues that the world is having. Um, and now all of the zodiacs is going through a shift. Um, and a lot of us, a lot of us, all of us, Libras, Leos, Virgos, Cancers, Capricorns, we're all thinking about how it was five years ago or how it was 10 years ago or how it was when we grew up, you know, or it wasn't like this, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, you know, being in quarantine wasn't easy and it's almost like we're still stuck mentally in quarantine so spirit is saying stop looking at the cups that are spilled staying in quarantine is not going to further your life we have to deal with what is at hand the beautiful with thing of uh, the beautiful thing with dealing with what is at hand is that when you have the belief in your creator you know that there is a divine plan. You see the your divine plan? You see the two cups behind you? You ain't you're not even focused on your blessings because you're too busy looking at what you had in this relationship. You're too busy looking at um and uh, what you could have, should have, would have did when it comes to a job. You're looking at oh, I could have made more money here. I could have did this. I, why are you doing that? There's a divine plan set in place already. Take action is what you need to do. And you can start simple with a spiritual bath. It sounds corny. It sounds whack. But it's the truth. If you start with a spiritual bath, some, some crystals. Look at these crystals I got. 
some crystals around your tub. This is um this is a witch's finger crystal. It's one of the most powerful crystals you can have. Tiger's eye. Best crystal you can have. Black obsidian. Keep all that negative energy away from you. Citrine brings luck into your life. Um, clear quartz, love, emotions, cups, inside, internal, loving yourself work. You got to do the work. <clears throat> and the work doesn't mean working yourself to death, going to this nine to five going, going, going to this nine to five and getting the same old check. No. The work is internal. The work is belief. The work is journaling. The work is meditating. The work is manifesting. Write your desires down. Write them down. When you pray, it's a praying is a beautiful thing because you have your spirit guides here. We was with all... We was all born with spirit guides. So your spirit guides are here to help you. You just got to ask them. How do you think I get these messages? Before I press record, I say, spirit, can you please bring me the energy of the Leos? These words and these visions start coming to me. And I give you the messages. You know what I mean? That can happen. <clears throat> that can happen for you on a normal basis. We all have these gifts. You just got to ask. Spirit, spirit. God made this universe and made this life very unique. They have rules. Your spirit guides have rules. They cannot intervene unless you ask. Your God doesn't have to be my God. Your God could be Allah. Your God could be Buddha. Your God could be genie and lamp. Your God could be, say if you don't believe in God, your God could be your higher self. Whoever your God is, whoever your creator is, work with the energies and work with what your creator gave you. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is fast moving energy coming towards you. Okay. And this could be a person. But again, Leo's, for some reason, the word swords is, is sitting still still in my soul for you or in my mind. And so they're telling me that you are in your mind. It's almost like it's almost like opportunities are flying by you and you don't see them because you are in this state of mind. You are in this of holding on to that check or that relationship, holding, 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 or you're in the two of pentacles. I don't know what to do. And all these opportunities is flying by you. You need to step away, Leos. You need to step away for a minute. You need to shake this shit off. Shake it off. Because the world is not going to change. Only you can change, okay? <clears throat> Spirit, can you give me something else? I can talk you to death, so let me get back to the cards. Spirit, Leo energy. Thank you. It fell right into my hand. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. I love how Spirit works. Did I not tell you things will change? You got to do the work. Let me tell you, talk to you about the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and I'm going to make it short, y'all. The Wheel of Fortune, yes, has to do with fortune. It has to do with monetarily doing lovely in your life. I told you to get a scratch off, right? Um, it is not only about money. The Wheel of Fortune is about stepping on the wheel of your life come December, January, in a positive manner, in a positive light. If you go into this new cycle just with positive mind frame, with positive thoughts, then these opportunities that are flying by you, now they're telling me delay. They're telling me that it's just on a delay. Come December, January, I promise you, if you come into this new cycle saying, okay, let, let's try this Danny Moon shit. All right, for 30 days, I'm going to write everything down. 30 days. Every day, I'm going to write what I'm grateful for. Then I'm going to take another book and I'm going to journal what I am grateful for that I don't even have. Because I know that spirit, God, and the universe is going to bring it to me. I promise you. I promise you a free reading in 30 days if you don't get not one blessing towards you. If you get a blessing, 
then you have to read me. How about that? My, um, and I hold you, you can hold me to that. And you're going to be like, I don't know how to read. I don't know how to read. I will, I, I, don't worry. Don't worry about all the ins and outs. If you do 30 days for me from the October 22nd to November 22nd of writing all your journaling down, that's all I'm asking you to do. And invoke the power of water every day when you take a shower. So it could, it could take away all this negative thoughts away. And I don't even care. It, negative thoughts about a relationship, sadness about a relationship, whatever. In 30 days. I bet you a blessing, which I know you're going to get several, a blessing will come to you and you will get a free reading from me, a mini reading. <laughs> <clears throat> the wheel of fortune, y'all, is about how you step on that wheel. If you step on that wheel in a depressive state, That's that 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 will be the cycle for a whole six months to a year, three months, six months to a year. That cycle will continue in that dis, that depressive state. My um leg is starting to really hurt me right now. So, spirit, it's thirty six minutes already. Can we get? Are you? Are, am, can I make this up? The beginning of the video, I talked about the justice card. I talked about court cases. I talked about everything being fair. But what I didn't talk about is that not everybody likes fair. The justice card is about legal action. So the, the judge may split it in half. Okay, this is the amount you want. You'll get half of it. That's a blessing. Don't argue it. The You might have to go to... Say if your sentence is, and I'm just giving you examples, y'all. Say if your sentence is five months, you may get 120 days. That is a big blessing. Okay? Say if your fees, your legal fees is $1,000, you might have to only pay three. It came out upright. Leo's spirit is watching over you, hardcore. In your feelings, that that's the word they that's the sentence they're giving me because they feel like you are in your feelings and it might reroute you to like an angry place or doing something, doing things or something that you don't supposed to do or feeling some type of way that you don't supposed to feel. Um, but you got you you got some heavy cards on the table, like the hangman, um, which is perspective the sun card which is everything's going to be okay the wheel of fortune meaning step on that real the wheel the correct way uh, make some changes make some changes so that this new cycle come december january things are new start take your business to another level you have your own business you have your own entrepreneur business take your business to another level and you can start that right on youtube for free Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, she about her money. There's no gender in tarot, but I'm saying this person, male or female, you're about your money. <clears throat> but And look where I put it. I put it right next to the Eight of Pentacles, working hard. So I get it. I, I do get it. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands is a very intuitive, the Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive. But people don't say that all the Queens of the deck are very intuitive. When it comes to the Queen of Cups, she's very connected to her heart. So inside, she's very connected to her intuition. So she's very intuitive. Um, the Queen of Swords, she's very connected to what she thinks and what she what she desires, what she wants, you know, in her mind. You know what I mean? So she's connected internally. Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is outside material, um, home life what's happening in your home, um, but it's about your money. You know what I'm saying? And they're saying you're putting your mind is, you're putting your mind, you're putting your thoughts and your actions 
into your money, which is fine. That's good, which is fine. You're thinking about your money. You're, the Queen of Pentacles, everybody loves the Queen of Pentacles. You take care of your family, your home, your friends, everything. Spirit is time. Spirit, here, here we go. Spirit is trying to say it's time for you to get a Manny and Penny. A Manny and Petty. It's time for you to put your money in your mouth. <laughs> you know, it's time for you to put your money in your entrepreneurial business. Invest in yourself. Okay? <clears throat> Invest in yourself. Thank you, Spirit. They, I, I was getting tongue tied there, but they put it, they got, they, they put that message out very securely. Invest in yourself. Four cups. Four cups. Again, just like I said earlier, I emphasize about looking at the blessing at hand, the blessings at hand, like waking up, like have going to a job, like having a small business, like having friends or family, like having support, like having like look at your blessings at hand. Um, and the four four cup spirit is saying you're not doing that right now. You're looking at what you wish you had. You're looking at what you want. You're looking at like why don't I have that? You're in the five of cups. You're you're again in the five of cups. Four of cups, five of cups, same thing. He's he's leaning up against a tree, and this one is standing up on a melon. Same thing. Spirit, can we get some advice for the Leos, please? Can we get some advice? Do the action. Yeah, do... Uh, they want me to... Um, all right. Um, can we get two cards of advice? 41 minutes, y'all. 41 minutes. Mm. Wow. Okay, so... Six of Swords... Spirit is saying you will be victorious. Spirit is again telling you, because they already told you with the sun card and kind of with the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune, no, you got to take action. Everything will be fine. You will be victorious. It's not going to be peaches and cream because it's not for nobody. We're all going through a transformational stage, even us Libras. I'm a Libra. So if you're dating a Libra or if if there is a crust watcher in the mix, my Leos, you will be okay. Keep a positive mind frame and use some of these tactics or advice that spirit is giving you, like a spirit, like invoking water or a spiritual bath or writing and journaling, um, staying positive, talking to your spirit guides. It may sound corny, but you need to do it. The emperor, the emperor. Leos, this is how I know you. This is what I know the Leos are. Spirit wants you to regain this. And Spirit is saying they know that you can fight the mighty fight. You can do this. Of all people, you and the Sagittarius's can do this, okay? So if you're dating a Sagittarius or if you're a cross watcher, you can do this. All right. Um, let's get an angel answer. And I always forget to pull a trinket, but for some reason, I just remembered I'm going to pull a trinket for you guys. Um, Spirit, can you please come in and give the Leos accurate messages? I only need about three cards out of here. They're telling me the bottom of the deck, but they want me to split the deck. Choose a new direction. Leo, it, Leos, it's time for you to make different decisions. Go to school. Think about going to school. Think about going, take, okay, and I know, uh, okay, okay. Because I hear y'all already like, I ain't going back to school. No. 
I mean like a training course, like a, a year, a, a training course to be a medical assistant or to be CPI or to do computer work. You know, think about on your spare time because, you know, everything with the Internet is at the tip of your fingers. Think about going back to school or taking some type of training course that will further your your growth. Just put it like that. This, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Perfect timing. It is the perfect timing. Right now is the perfect timing, especially if you do this 30 days of writing and thing. It, this is the perfect timing for you. Sorry that I'm moving around, but my leg is starting to hurt. Um perfect time. Oh, I'm leaving it right there. Take action. <laughs> and I only said that because I have been saying that throughout this reading. You have to use this energy to your benefit, but that means you have to take action. Danny Moon, y'all, please subscribe, press like, uh, uh, forward this to all of the platforms so that other Leos could get this. If you want to email me and get a private reading, and I'm not, I'm very affordable. Um, I'm not expensive at all. You can email me at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. That is Danny with the I. M-O-O-N-D-A-N-N-I 1976 at gmail.com. It will be in the description. Um, follow me on TikTok because I will follow Follow you back on every platform. Um, Danny, D A N N I, three moon. And that is my name on all my platforms. My Facebook name is Karen Alexander. That is my name, but you might, it might be hard to find me on there. But I do have a Facebook business page, um, and that is Sessions and Guidance with Danny Moon. I love you. Stay strong.